Good evening, good evening, welcome to the program. This is TJKB Top Holland Radio UK. It's time for In His Presence. It's time for us to hear the word of God and also to pray. We are grateful to have with us once again Reverend Jacob Van der Poy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. Today is Monday and as usual. When it is 8.30 p.m. UK time, then you know it's time for In His Presence. We are coming to a service. Yes, I should say so. Yeah. Reverend Van der Poy, welcome to In His, Pro- In His Presence. Yes, I should say. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> today is Monday, so we are pleased to see you around because we know that you always have something new from the Lord for us. Amen. So, Reverend, welcome to the program. How is the family? How is the ministry? How is life treating you, sir? Life is well by the grace of God. We are kept by the Lord. All Amen. is well. And yourself? We are good by His grace. Amen. Uh, his mercies uh, and favor abounds for us so hallelujah we have no complaints we can only give thanks thank you sir Mm -hmm. reverend i can see on your board you say understanding or discerning heart yes what do you want us to understand about this sir Amen. Amen. amen 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 thank you dj kb amen thank you top online radio Dearly beloved, we love you with the love of God. And you are welcome to our Monday's program in his presence. In his presence is fullness of joy. May the joy of the Lord locate you where you are. We want to encourage you, share the link, invite people to come and pray with us. We study the word, we pray, and that's what brings about enhancement to our lives. And I see God meeting somebody at a point of his or her need right Amen. now in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Shakana glory of the Lord arrest you this evening. May the hand of God come upon you. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Somebody rejoice. I say rejoice Amen. always. Let Amen. your situation be made known unto men. 
And tonight, the peace of God that passes all understanding may keep your hearts in Christ Jesus. May there be a demonstration of the anointing of God infused into your DNA. May Amen. God absolutely take control. Oh, I don't know what you are going through, but every, every heaviness, every impediment, everything that is upon you, I can assure you, if you will be attentive for this one hour, and if you will pray, God will visit you. God Amen. will his oracles into your life. Amen. In the name of Yeshua Amashiach, we do not Amen. the word of God by the enticing words of man's wisdom, but the power and the anointing in the name of Jesus be demonstrated on this platform this evening. Amen. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. Jesus May there be liberation. May there be an anointing reaching you wherever you are. Amen. Lord, tonight, may the eyes of somebody, or the eyes of the understanding of somebody be enlightened. Give us spirit of discernment in order to uh, uh, judge rightly, in order to see things in God's perspective. Father, O oh God, let sickness bow. In Jesus' name, every power of the enemy bow tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give you a seeing eye and a yes. hearing ear. Amen. May God unfold the mysteries of his kingdom unto somebody tonight. Amen. Somebody, you are going through some situation and it looks like there is no answer to that situation. But the God of the heavens, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God Amen. of Jacob, put your name there. My name is there already. The God of <laughs> uh, uh, Victoria, Queen Victoria will Big meet place. you at the point of your need. Amen. The hand of God will be stretched upon you tonight. Oh, Amen. liberty come to somebody's house. All it. the confusion, all the play of the enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon of the enemy fashioned against you shall prosper. Amen. Sickness are bowing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight we're Amen. talking about uh, understanding by wisdom a house is built. By understanding it is established. Descending heart. May you have a sound and a peaceful heart so that you can divide a situation rightly. Amen. May God, the other day, Moses, in the Psalms 90, the verse 12, says, God, teach us to number our days. If you want to personalize it, teach me to number my days in order to apply my heart unto wisdom. Amen. Wisdom is the principal thing. Oh, the, the, the situation that is overwhelming us and the situation that is agitating us. If we will have the mind of God and we will be advised and we will be directed by the spirit of the Lord, some of the things we are going through, it, be, it will become easier. Yes. Have the mind of God. And I love the king, whoever lived, the wisest king, whoever lived. I take the good aspect of his life. And Bible says, Solomon loved the Lord. First of all, if you love the Lord, Solomon loved the Lord. And Solomon, 
he offers sacrifices unto God. If your heart is drawn unto God, and if you love the Lord, and if anybody lack wisdom, James says, James 1 5, if anybody lack wisdom, he should ask from God and he will give him liberally. Upholding not, may God endow you with wisdom. May Amen. God cause your going and your coming, the situation in your home, the situation at your workplace, may God give you a heart of understanding, a heart of discernment. Amen. So our key scripture tonight is First Kings chapter three and the verse nine. If uh, my my dear uh, presenter DJ KB will be in, in yes, sir. Uh, First Kings chapter three. Yes. And First verse. Kings. Sorry, come again. The verse. Verse nine, sir. Verse nine. Thank you. Right. Let me where is my up? Okay, right. First Kings chapter three verse nine. Therefore give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to judge this great people of yours? Amen. Amen. That was Amen. the request of King Solomon. King Solomon was made a king after his father. And the Bible says Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the status of his father. And Solomon went to Gibbon. Gibbon was a place of sacrifice. A, pray, a place that people go to sacrifice. And Solomon went to Gibbon and sacrificed unto the Lord thousand cattle, thousand cattle. The normal sacrifice was one cattle. But Solomon went his way out and sacrificed thousand sacrifices unto the Lord, cattle. What does that mean? If you love the Lord and if you draw closer to God, maybe yours is not to offer a uh, cattle or a uh, uh, wet. You don't have the wet up to the magnitude of Solomon. But maybe you are to give your heart unto God and put all your heart into the things of God. And Solomon just as he offered the sacrifice of burnt offerings unto the Lord. That same night, oh, that same night in a dream, God appeared unto Solomon. And when God appeared unto Solomon, God says, ask, you've shown love to me. You have proved that you are dedicated to me. If you would dedicate your life to God, God will speak to you in a form that is conformable, in a form that can meet you, and in, 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 in a way that God would demand answers from you. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. And God asked Solomon, Ask what you will. Oh, the sacrifice of Solomon touched the heart of God. Brother, sister, what are you doing that you think can touch the heart of God? Amen. Do you love people? Do you pray? <laughs> the, the last uh, uh, preacher, uh, uh, Brother Audro, was saying prayer, fasting, reading of the word. Are you dedicating your life to God? Are you being uh, uh, kind to people? When you are, you do something that moves the heart of God, God will appear unto you. We have been talking since the year started about divine encounter. <coughs> divine encounter is where God will have a tete-a-tete -tete with you. 
in your small way, God can appear to you in your word study. God can appear to you in your prayer. God can appear to you in your fasting. And God can appear to you at the church. And God appeared to Solomon in a dream. I pray that God will appear to you. I pray that God will cause you to know, just like God appeared to Moses in the burning bush. God appeared to uh, 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 Peter in the prison, whilst they were praying, and uh, 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 Herod was about to bring him out to execute him. But the angel of the Lord appeared unto uh, Peter. Uh, Paul, on his way to Damascus, the, the, the angel of the Lord appeared to him. May God appear to you. Amen. And when God appears to you, set your priorities right. Ask for wisdom, understanding. Solomon, he says, I will not ask for riches. I will not ask for the life of my enemies. And I, 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 maybe I can't give the percentage. But I, I dare say, with, all, uh, with no shadow of doubt, many Christians of today, if God should appear to them, they will ask for the life of their enemies. They will ask for something, uh, uh, something Evil. strange. Yeah. Something strange. Oh, this brother is me to me. God proved to him that I have arrived. But Solomon says, I don't want anything. I don't want anything, but I want the heart, a heart of understanding. In order to rule, to rule the people, he was put in a position, a great nation. And in order to have a heart of understanding, a heart of discernment, may you have the heart of understanding. May God Amen. teach you to number your days in order to apply your ass unto wisdom. Tonight, Father, somebody is about to take a decision. I pray that you will endow him, you will endow her with the heart of wisdom, heart of understanding, so that mm -hmm. he will be able to, uh, uh, to, to apply his or her heart unto wisdom. Amen. And Solomon asked for the heart of wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Oh, yes. Uh, wisdom differs from education. It's not mm -hmm. about degree. We are not talking about degree here. No, sir. We are not talking about acad academical persons. We are talking about sound judgment. We are talking of a God and planting on your heart. We are talking of God directing you so that when there is a difficult situation and everybody is scratching his or her head and everybody is going in circles, God will give you a word. Receive a word from the Lord. Receive Amen. direction from the Lord. Receive Amen. a rima word. A rima word is coming to somebody. Somebody, God is bringing you out of poverty. Somebody, Amen. God is bringing you out of uh, I, I don't know how to uh, I, I manage my finances I don't know how to manage my children father I pray tonight that you will give me you will give somebody at the sound of my voice a, a, a heart of understanding discernment sound wisdom sound judgment you will not mm -hmm. rule and divide but you will say one thing and that shall be the thing. And Solomon, God says, because you did not ask for riches. There is riches in understanding. Yes. There is riches in discernment. I tell you, some people, uh, the secular work you are doing, if you will ask God for wisdom, that same secular work, will direct you to use part of your income to establish something that will bring you uh, uh, to, to a higher height, 
I see somebody being lifted up. I see somebody Amen. that door oh, that leads to your prosperity is hoping Amen. tonight. And it is the wish of God that you will prosper. You will be in love even as your soul prospers. The misunderstanding that is going on in your house, if you will have wisdom, it will cease. I say it will cease. Amen. Power and might is coming from the horizon. And God said to uh, Solomon, King Solomon, my son Solomon, because you did not ask for uh, the life of your enemies, because you did not ask for uh, uh, everybody should bow to me, because you did not ask for, let them know that I have arrived. I'm putting it in my own words. I have given you wisdom. May you receive the wisdom that will cause you to triumph. May you receive Amen. the wisdom that will bring victory to your household. May you Amen. receive wisdom that will cause your organization where you work when there is a problem they need solution they will say wait for this sister wait for this brother this brother Amen. will give an insight to what we are doing Amen. Oh, Amen. you can be a junior officer you cannot be you may not be the uh, the uh, the most senior in the office but your contributions, because of the love of God and because of the wisdom of God, your contribution will be cherished. Yes, May sir. you not be the one when uh, there is a family meeting, they will say, forget about him, forget about him. He has nothing to contribute. May you be mm. the one that they say, at least let us, let us wait for him. Wait for him. Yes, sir. Let Amen. us wait for, for his contribution. Not in money. It could be in money, but the contribution of you saying this and that that the family is deciding to do. Uh, I humbly suggest that can we do it this way? And all because God has endowed you with that ability, that capability, when you say they will pause, they will say, let him let, let us give him the benefit of the doubt. May they give Amen. him the benefit of the doubt. And when they give you the benefit of the doubt, it shall be established. Whatsoever you will propose, whatsoever you will suggest, may it be established. May Amen. everything that concerns your life be beautified. I see beauty. I see forward going. I see advancement. I see you be a counselor to many people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember years over 35 to 40 years I was working in Ghana in the Ministry of uh, uh, Finance, Accountant General Secondment. And lo and behold, because the relationship and the prayer and the uh, sessions we have with the Lord, I may be going to work and I hear a voice telling me, because I, 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 I handle a sensitive position there. I, mean, I was dealing with contractors to take to my director to sign vouchers and so on. And lo and behold, at times I will have a picture of what will happen the lord will cancel you ahead of the situation amen i'm telling you if you have a relationship with god if you soak yourself in the blood of jesus tonight i dip you in the blood of jesus tonight amen. i pray that you will meditate on the word of god joshua 1 8 this book of the law shall not depart from your heart you will meditate on the word of god and do according to all that is written in it and you will be prosperous and you will have good success be of good courage god will endow amen. you wisdom and god says i'm giving you wisdom tonight god has given djkb wisdom god has yes, given Jacob wisdom anyone Amen. on the platform receive wisdom 
receive Amen. the touch of God. Receive the power to, to make work. Amen. I receive it. I will bless you and I will make you a custodian of the blessings of God. So Amen. King Solomon was giving wisdom. And I love the same uh, first Kings chapter 10. And the Bible says, when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, may you, may they hear your fame. May they hear what God is doing with your life. Amen. And when the king of, uh, queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon, he came to test him with hard words, hard questions. Oh, may you not be afraid of the questions they are preparing for you. May Amen. you not be intimidated. For God has not given you and I the spirit of fear, but God has given us the spirit of power, the spirit Amen. of love and of sound mind, the spirit Amen. of discipline. May you be disciplined. May you be calm. May you be like the hand. Oh, and, let, 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 and the queen of Sheba came to test Solomon with hard questions. And the queen of Sheba came with an entourage. It, she came with a, 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 a very a, a heavy, a, a, a heavy duty gold and so on. And a, a, a desire was to test Solomon that he, she has heard of the fame, of the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom will take you far. Amen. And wisdom rightly dividing the word of truth, descending the uh, uh, situations and uh, bringing things to a solution. So when the queen came, the queen saw the arrangement in the palace, the servants, the tables, the design, artistry, and the servants, the uniforms they wear. And she saw that she has come to a place to learn. She has come to a place of advancement. There may be forward going awaiting you. Amen. There may be advancement awaiting you, child Amen. of God. Amen. You will not stay where you are. God say, I have lifted you up. I take my blessing tonight. And I Amen. take my forward going tonight. May the hand of God be lifted upon me tonight. Amen. Likewise you. So the queen saw how things were done in the palace of Solomon. And the guys... And where he, she was taken. And the, the queen asked her questions. And the queen brought her questions. Because she did not believe of the wisdom of Solomon. And the Bible says in the verse 5. And the food on his table, the sitting of his servants, the service of his waiters, and their uproar, his cup bearers, and his entering way by which he went up to the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. The spirit in Queen of Sheba left her. And Solomon answered the question of uh, the queen of Sheba with ease. With ease. May God give you a wisdom that when they come to test you, in order to prove you a novice, or in order to belittle you, may God be your my peace. Amen. May God reveal the deep things of his kingdom unto thee. 
Hallelujah. And the Bible Amen. says, the queen of Sheba give gifts unto Mo, uh, 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 Solomon. He says, I had it, but I did not believe it. I have seen it myself. And there is nothing, no question left in me. You are wiser than I thought. May wisdom be your portion. Amen. May your eyes of understanding be enlightened by God. May the yes. power of God be seen in your life tonight. Amen. May everything that pertains to godliness be your portion tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out his blessings unto thee. The Lord will give you what it takes to overcome the works of the enemy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The gates that are be an impediment unto you, ah, it will open. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Amen. another, uh, in the same key, first King chapter 3, when Solomon was endowed with wisdom, it wasn't long. Two alos, two alos brought a living child, a living son, and a dead son unto, unto uh, Solomon. And they were disputing about the living son. And they were saying, that is my child. This one said, that is my child sound judgment may you have that wisdom of god and may amen. you have that power to be able to uh, uh, distinguish evil from good good yes, from evil amen. may everything that transpires from your mouth be a blessing unto other people amen May you be at peace with other people by the utterance of your word. Amen. The hand of God be upon you tonight. And we will read uh, 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 Ephesians if uh, my DJ will go there and read for us. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. Ephesians chapter 1, 17 and 18. Okay, I will take that. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 1, 17, verses 17 and 18. Yes, sir. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his, of his inheritance in the saints Amen. hallelujah Amen. the lord will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation receive it tonight I receive, receive it. an enlightenment into every Amen. sphere of your life. Amen. Your career receive the knowledge of God and that you will know the purpose of his calling. I God has it. called you for a purpose. And that I purpose, as you apply the wisdom of God and as you apply the revelation of God, Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus that the Lord God will enlighten you. The Lord God will grant you wisdom, knowledge in him. Amen. May, may you be knowledgeable. Amen. May you be a, a, a person that will be sound in what he does. Amen. Your career, apart from your academical pursuit, may you be sound on your job. Amen. May, may, may you be elevated by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May God arrest you and may God endow into you the spirit of wisdom. 
the mm. eyes of your understanding tonight i see god taking off the darkness taking off the skill that you will not be like anybody uh, and you yes. will not speak like foolish people speak yes lord that the order of the day is everybody is doing it if mm. everybody is doing it and it's from, not from God, it's not your portion, son of God, daughter of God. Yes, what sir. is your portion is that the God of the heavens, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the Elohim, the Elohim who instruct you, may your Amen. steps be ordered by the Lord tonight. May Amen. the hand of God be lifted upon you tonight. May Amen. that be revelation, revelation, calling the deep things to be unfolded to you. Amen. The deep things that are concealed, the hidden things be revealed to somebody. Somebody, Amen. your eyes are being opened. Somebody, at that thing they are hiding from you, ah, God will give you a picture of it. And God Amen. will speak into your inner mind. And yes. God will, 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 will relate to you in a way that you will not pick things from the from from the from the head, but you will pick it in the spirit. That uh, God is calling you onto higher high. Deeper things are being revealed to you. Ah, uh, don't say I cannot. I cannot uh, deal with it. God himself is using you. God himself is preparing you. And he will, uh, he will spell everything out unto you. He's spelling everything out unto you. Amen. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Receive enlightenment. Receive the power of God. Receive the anointing of God. May you not be double-minded. And the gist of it, if anybody lack wisdom, may let him pray. Don't rush into answering. There are some things people ask me and I say, brother, sister, give me a couple of time. Give me a, a day or a two. Don't rush to say anything that comes from just your stomach but let it come from your spirit the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the sense oh, uh, how we love jesus descending spirit May you descend. May you descend. May you Amen. descend. And uh, we will read one more scripture before we pray. The Bible says, Proverbs. Proverbs 6 and uh, verse 6, 7, and 8. I will read. Go to the hunt. I know everybody knows a hunt. The hunt is tiny. But the ant is so wise. So go to the hunt. You sluggard. Sluggard is laziness. May you not be lazy anymore. Everything Amen. pertaining to your career, everything pertaining to bring advancement to your life, God, tonight we pray that you will cause us to get up from Slug, sluggishness. You will cause us not to be sluggard. Yes. Consider a ways and be wise. If the hand, as tiny as it is, can be wise, child of God, do something about your, your reasoning power. Do something about your decision taking. Do not rush into decisions. That is the order of the day. Some people, they don't even think about something. Kojo is doing it, so Kwabi should do it. Adwa is doing it, so Akoshua should do it. That is not it. That is not it. 
Maybe it's working for Kojo. It may not work for you. Maybe that is not the purpose of God for your life. So why rush into it? He says, consider a ways and be wise. Last week we were we were talking about consider your ways. Consider the ways of the hand. And why should you consider the ways of the hand? The Bible says, which have no captain, nor overseer. The hand has got no captain. The hands, the hand has got no overseer. Provides a uh, supplies in the summer. <laughs> there are seasons and times. In this country, we have four seasons, aren't we? Yes. And every season, you need to apply the sort of wisdom that is applicable to the season. And if you don't apply uh, wise judgment, or you don't descend the seasons and the times, you will be found wanting. But tonight, that is not your portion. Child of Amen. God, God is saying, beware of the seasons. God is saying, plan, play, uh, pray, and plan. Some people, they plan before they pray. They don't seek God in their decision taking. But the God of the heavens, he said, consider the hand. Go to the hand. He has no captain. He has no overseer. But he knows what he does. Tonight, God is changing the story of somebody. If it is you, say, I am the one God is changing my story. God will change your story. Your circumstances Amen. that causes you to koto or to succumb, they will bow. And God will give you a new ideas. And God will give you an application that you will apply to that situation. And that situation will know that this wisdom cometh from the law. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, provides a supplies in summer, in the summer, and gathers a food in the harvest. Now he says, how long will you slumber or be, or, oh, sluggard? Slumber. Some people, they've been in this country or wherever they are. They sleep at the time they should be doing something. They do something at the time they should be sleeping. And they do things that are not necessary. If you have wisdom, you will be able to maximize your time. You will be able to appropriate your time rightly. You can't be watching telly all the time. You can't be out there all the time. There is a time, you know the time you have to do something that is profitable. There is a time to rest. There is a time to take nap. And there is a time that you should go. <laughs> I remember the days we work early in the morning. I go to work and I'm sleeping. Because if you don't maximize your time well, that is what you will have. Tonight, the Lord wants to speak to you about how to apportion your time. Time is precious. And how to maximize your spending. Hallelujah. Many times Amen. I've said, God, give wisdom to believers or give wisdom to immigrants as to 